Oh my gosh, look. The rooster? Yeah. That's really neat how they painted it on the on the outside of the frame too. Yeah. All these pieces are really neat. How much is the rooster? Yeah, I don't see a tag anywhere. Oh yeah, I'm sure that one's five grand probably. Really pretty. Good use of colors. I like the black for the background to make all the other colors pop. How are you folks? Good. Yeah, You're good. You're looking at a painting done under the Naturalismo process, which consists of using only pigments found in the environment where the artist studied his subjects. So he travels through African safaris, underwater expeditions, jungles, and lives with the animals wow. for a week, two weeks, a month, up to two months, from Tanzania to the Amazon. Uh, gets the pigments from the native environment from which the subjects are from, and then he uses nature to paint nature. The purpose for Naturalismo is not to paint the, the way animals look like, but to paint the way animals feel like. Because oh, yeah. a rooster is not at all like that, but it does feel like a rooster. It has that presence. Most importantly, natural pigments bounce light. Man-made colors in the laboratory absorb light. Yes. So these pieces are done the way nature intended, which is for colors to uplift your enthusiasm. They're, they're uplifting, and not only that, he also tries to convey the different messages that we can get from animal behavioral patterns. Like, even um, this is a, for the artist, this is a symbol of hope. Um, okay. even, in the, even in the Bible, the rooster is a symbol of hope. The rooster is the one animal that will never falter to announce the end of darkness and the beginning of, the beginning of light. Yep. So that's, that's symbolic of hope in cultures throughout the world. So he wanted to have a painting of hope um, by adding the, the butterflies, incorporating into the composition. And then the cockiness of the rooster who stands yeah. so proudly. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so that's what it feels like. And uh -huh. it's a certain... And you certain, can see his eyeball too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. The stance and, and the eye. And then the three-dimensional effect uh -huh. to where the painting is calling for you. It's not just a piece of emotion on the wall. It's a piece coming to you, inviting you to join in the experience that the artist once had when in the study of such animal. Uh, you should see the elephants inside. Oh yeah, yeah. let's go see the elephants. Mm -hmm. I want to go see the elephants. That's Luis Sotil. Luis Sotil. And then Luis, it's nice to meet you. Luis, I am Pat, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, yeah. <laughs> Look at this baby. That is an Asian elephant. And so I study elephants for about uh, four years before I painted the first elephant. Now, elephants are, if you study their behavior, are symbolic of love. Um, everything they do, it's, it's, it's very love-like human, uh, a pattern of human behavior. Uh, they mourn their death. They come, they, they, they come to the dead site of a matriarch every year on the date. They really? have, they have, yes, they have tear glands. They cry. Uh -oh. They are so endearing and so protective of their calves. Now, um, to celebrate one of the greatest virtues that humanity could could observe, which is love, the ability to love and be loved, I decided to paint the native flora and fauna. Uh, inhabited, inhabited, inhabitant of uh, um, uh, countries throughout Asia. So you see all of that as a reef around the neck, uh, like a lei when you arrive in Hawaii. Hawaii, yes. Yes, to um, to just give it life and celebrate one of the greatest virtue, virtues humanity could, could learn from animal behavior. The frogs represent unity, because I picked the four frogs that once they mate, they stay together for life. 
the leopards represent respect. Um, it's just the behavior that I've studied throughout the years um, exemplifies respect like no other animal. Respect for the baby and the mother. So they're bold in color, they're bold in composition, and they all have a message to convey. And I'm very thrilled to share it with you. <laughs> Luis, so, you're awesome. Please feel free, and if you have any questions, let me know, okay? okay. Did you travel to Thailand? Yes. To, mm -hmm. I wondered, yeah. Because oh, yeah. when you say it's an Asian elephant. All over the place. Mm -hmm. Wherever the animals live, they're, they're at bed. Yeah. That's fantastic. Thank you. You do fantastic work. Thank you, thank you. So tell me, uh, yes, on a piece like this, uh -huh. how long does it take you to paint that after you've studied the animal? Let's take, let's oh, take okay. this. Now you're cheating. Let's take the study out of the uh, equation. Come on, no, that takes years. <laughs> to, 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 um, that's a technical question, and technically, um, the execution of the emotion uh, on that format would be about uh, 10 days. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes non-stop. Now, right, right. now this, this serves as a three-dimensional effect, of course. So, so does that. But in the case of the pieces with the black background, um, uh, and there's a hidden purpose behind it. Subconsciously, so you want to look inside, because the painting continues all the way to the edge. Mm -hmm. And then I do the painting again when, when, when um, putting the frame around it. So it's all of the border surrounding the piece is is painted twice, oh, yeah. but with the intention to invite the, any human uh, looking at my work to explore nature, something we no longer do, something we've taken for granted. So there's an invitation to look inside and see how it continues and follows the lines perfectly in synchronized with the frame around it. So you look in. The painting continues and repeats itself. You're the only artist that I've seen that is doing that. Yes, I haven't seen anybody yeah. do that either. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Right, I haven't seen that either. Uh, it's not easy. I mean, I had to hire a full-time architect, not a framer, just to just to do this work in my studio in Mexico. Wow. Yes, I haven't seen that either. No, I haven't seen that here. You're, you're the first. Yes. And then you're one of the first that I've seen that use the technique of black and then re reversing your build from black to light. To light, yes, yes. exactly. Well, because I'm emulating nature, you in know. The, in uh, the tattoo world, you always start with black uh -huh. and you work up to your lighter colors. I did not know that about you, tattoos. You have to start with black because the darker colors will dominate the lighter colors ah. in the tattoo world. When you apply it. So dark is in the back. Yes. Mm -hmm. The background. Very nice. Oh. You would know. Yes. <laughs> it's good looking. Thank Very you. good looking. Very good job. Oh. Whoever did it. Very yes. good job. All right. Well, your paintings are fantastic. So Thank you. You have a fantastic story behind them too, which a lot much. of the artists don't. You know, they don't right. go and study nature like you have, and that's. It's uh, it's uh, it's you know, we're, we're all here to make a difference with whatever talent, with whatever ability, with whatever knowledge, and um, and and my difference is my hobby, and it happens to to make a difference in people's lives, and so it's a lot of fun. It's so much fun to just study from, from, from zero mm -hmm. and let nature uh, surprise you. Fantastic. All right, Luis. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Absolutely. You All right. Good luck to you. Enjoy we wish the you show. well. So. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Thank you. 